Welcome to another episode of our Vodcast series, Shaking Hands with the Past, where we explore the collection of York Archaeological Trust and learn more about the inhabitants of the historic city of York. Today we are lucky enough to have two objects, different in style, but possibly related in use. Our first find is this, a syrinx. This 10th century object is made out of boxwood, and we suspect it is the Viking Age equivalent of what we would now call panpipes. It is a unique find in archaeology, and would have been a rare sight even in Viking times. The craftsmanship, and choice of slow-growing boxwood to make it, suggests it might have been quite an expensive possession. Isn't that right, Yorand? Yes, it is. But I've been lucky enough to borrow these box pipes from Inga the Scald. Shall I give them a go? It's harder than it looks. But Inga makes beautiful music to accompany her storytelling. We also play instruments like these at family gatherings and great festivals to celebrate the changing year and the gods. Uh, keep practicing, Yorand. Our syrinx has four complete tubes cut into it and a fifth damaged one just here. The holes have all been cut at different lengths into the wood to create the notes from A to E, and it might originally have had two more holes for F and G. Some panpipes found in other places have had up to 13 holes, covering nearly two scales. Now I did say I had a second object to show you, and this one is a bit more of a mystery. No one is quite sure what this was used for, but it has been suggested that it might be a tuning peg for a musical instrument due to its shape. You think the Vikings might have used string instruments because there are several mentions of them in the sagas, and what might be the bridge of a guitar or violin type instrument was found in a Norwegian Viking grave. It is difficult to say for sure if this object was a tuning peg, as it is broken here and it might just have easily been the head of an expensive dress or hairpin. However, it is the decoration on this find that makes it such a fascinating object to discover. The meaning of the symbolism is lost to us now, but we do know that animals were associated with different Viking gods, so maybe this is religious decoration. Can you tell us about the animals that belonged to Viking gods, Jorund? Yes, there are animals everywhere in our sagas. Frey, the god of the harvest, has a chariot pulled by a golden boar. Freya, the goddess of love, her chariot is pulled by two cats. Odin, the Allfather, he's associated with animals too. There's Freki and Geri, his two wolves, and Hugin and Munin, the two ravens that he sends out across the world to gather information for him. There are monstrous animals too, like a Jormungander, the sea serpent, he lives in the ocean, and Fenrir, a great wolf, who it is said will kill Odin at the end of the world. Tack, Jorund, that's really interesting. Maybe our find symbolises Odin's ravens, or perhaps it's just an interesting decoration. What do you think? We learn more about the Viking past every time we find something new even if we end up with more questions than answers. Join us again next time to see another exciting find from York's archaeology and shake hands with the past again.